90 minutes and, and just beyond. Yeah, well, we're, we're playing really well at the moment. I'm really pleased with what we're producing. I think it's, um, it's a good run we're on, obviously, getting positive results on the back of good performances as well. That, that helps confidence, that goes without saying. And, um, albeit we've lost key personnel, you have to say, a lot of our, 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 our players in, in recent times have had a real impact on us. Uh, um, as I said, the, the group itself is strong enough to, to cope with that, I feel. Um, and we're looking forward to the game against City tomorrow night. So, um, you want to be going into a game against one of the, the top teams in, in the division with, with good confidence, and that's that's where we are at the moment. So uh, we're looking forward to it. It's, um, it's always dangerous to say maybe it's a good time to, to meet them because uh, uh, maybe few problems with their home form maybe when, when teams come and there are plenty of people behind the ball but um, we still have to respect the ability in their, in their ranks and the resources they've got. And it'll be a test for us, we know that, but uh, we're we'll looking forward to it. That was going to be my next question. Do you feel that they've missed the likes of Yaya Toure and the son that have been away in the African League of Nations? Well, irrespective of how good you are or the strengths of your, your squad, um, you do miss your key players, and uh, we found that to a certain extent. But uh, we've been able to manage it, and, and obviously with the strength of playing staff that City have got, they, they have the ability to, to manage that as well. So uh, um, I'm sure they, they would prefer to have their full complement available. That's not the case as, as we find ourselves in some circumstances. But I think it's it's about making best use of the players you have available. And, uh, we've been able to do that. Um, City obviously will, will feel they, they have some of the capacity to do that as well. Um, I always feel if, if you're a top player on a top club, then when you do have a, a negative result or a result that's perceived to be a little bit negative, which obviously the, the result of the weekend maybe is in, in that uh, group of results that they've had, then Inevitably, you get a reaction, and uh, we've got to be mindful of that and be ready for that because uh, usually uh, top players and top clubs bounce back very, very quickly. So, uh, we've got to be ready. What are your reflections on that first meeting you had with them back in August, and can that have any bearing on this day? Well, we played very well on the day. We, we had a game plan, we stuck to it. Uh, we, we had good threats going the other way as well from one of our counter attacks. Obviously, man, Jeff scored a great individual goal. Um, and on the day, um, in France to, to City and everybody connected with City were very gracious after the defeat uh, and they acknowledged on the day we were the, we were the better side. Um, that sometimes doesn't happen when you go to the top clubs and take points off them. So uh, we're pleased that was recognised, but um, we'll have to match those levels again. So uh, it won't be easy uh, with the home side and on our occasions um, we may be a little bit open just because of our willingness to get forward and uh, have good players to, to capitalise on, on any uh, opportunities you give them. So we, we've got to be nice and solid as, as we always try to be, but uh, certainly we, we want to take the game to City. On the day you played a counter-attacking game very well. Can you employ similar tactics when you're at home? Yeah, to a certain extent. I, I don't think that will be uh, all of what, what we're trying to achieve. I, I think away from home sometimes uh, dictated by your opposition as well. As much as you you want to go on the front foot then sometimes if you look at the games a very good team which City undoubtedly are then it's sometimes difficult to, to have that foothold to be able to spring on the other way. Thankfully um, I guess it, we, we were able to do that. So um, I'll be looking for my team to, to be really positive. There's no reason why we shouldn't be we're playing well at the moment and uh, still got real good threats that will cause City problems. We just gotta make sure that don't allow them opportunities going the other way because um, with the quality that they have in there inevitably or invariably they, uh, they take chances that they create so we're going to try and keep that to a minimum the amount of chances they create it's not easy you know 90 minutes of the Premier League game it's, it's not impossible to stop any opposition not having at least one good opportunity so um, we just need to play very well if we play as well as we have been doing you know, have the confidence in, in what we're trying to do and we display that then we'll be fine.
And just finally, I know towards the end of last month, you indicated there's been a willingness to discuss your contract situation here with the board. What's the latest on that? Yeah, we've had further discussions, um, and we've got down to the real detail of it, but um, they're ongoing. Um, I think there's a willingness on both sides to, to get something done, hopefully uh, sooner rather than later, certainly from my point of view. So, uh, yeah, it's progressing. It's, it's going. Can I let some more? Thank you. Mark, um, earlier in the season we talked about your team being a bit inconsistent. You'd win a game and maybe lose a game, but since Christmas, since the, the new year, you've had a bit more of a steady determination and ground out the results. How pleasing is that for you that the, your team seems to be a bit more resilient? Yeah, very pleased. I think we had a problem probably one year leading to is that we found it difficult to get back to back wins and that took us an age to do that. But uh, I think in terms of our levels of performance, I think they've been consistent and uh, that's obviously followed with, with good results and, and obviously points on the board. So so we're, we're happy where we are at the moment. We're, we're ahead of obviously the total we had at a similar time last year, which was important. And we won. We seem to continue to progress in, in, in the right way. Um, so it's it's a good camp at the moment. We're, we're, we're happy with how we're performing. We're happy with the amount of points we're getting on the board. And, and we still feel there's good opportunities from now to the end of the season for us to, to really add to the total that we have at the moment. So um, everything's really positive. We, we need to keep on uh, and continue in the same vein. Obviously, keep this run going if we can. The team will go up against from now to the end of the year, but uh, if you're playing with confidence, then it makes that task a little bit easier. Um, just a word on Peter Crouch obviously, he got that equalising goal and signed his contract uh, a couple of weeks ago. How pleasing for the fans and for you is it that he's you know, been such a interfact and such fantastic form this season? I think everybody connected with the club and, and football people in general, I think. Uh, I mean, Peter's one of those guys, even away from the Football arena is one of those that uh, endears one of those characters that endears himself to people. He's uh, he's a great guy, a fantastic football player. As as his goal at the weekend proved once again. So uh, we're delighted that he's committed his future here. Uh, it's something that everybody wanted to happen, uh, and we're delighted that he's going to be with us for for at least a couple more more seasons because he's uh, he's big part of what we do here. Uh, he's probably a little bit frustrated that he hasn't started um, the last few games. We know he'll always have an impact for us. Um, Prove the point at the weekend when he came off the bench to great effect, uh, along with Jeff Cameron as well. So um, yeah, we were delighted that he's, he's going to be with us because it's really important that we got that one sealed. And along with Glenn Whelan as well, who's had a big influence since I've come here as well. Um, you've obviously brought players in over the last 12 months. But it's been players like Johnny Walters, Whelan, as you said, Crouch, some of those players that have been the backbone of your team this season. Is that is that something you planned at the beginning of the season? Did you expect them to play such an important part? Yeah, yeah. I, I think if you, you remember when I first came to the club, I, I said I, I had a really good, strong group here. So there was no reason to try and, or even think about breaking that group of players up. Uh, obviously, some have left uh, who were part of that group. But it's, it's important that uh, the ones that consistently available, consistently producing for me. Um, it's important that we, we get that group together and uh, we've been able to do it for the most part. Um, and I'm delighted because that's that's been a strength of the team. And we've been able to, as a consequence of having a good group, big strong senior group, then uh, I've been able to maybe bring a little, a little bit more creativity into the side, uh, different type of players than maybe have been senior before. Um, but I've been able to do that because I've had that real strong core to the team. Um, this month could be a really important month. You play Aston Villa, you play Hull, you've got Blackburn in the Cup. Do you think this could be um, a really good month to consolidate your league position and get the points that you need to maybe finish as high as you can? Yeah, I think so. I think we, if you look at uh, the past months and over the Christmas period, we just come through a really tough period given the, the quality of the opposition and, and we had a, a really good period during that time where we picked up uh, a good, good number of points and hit our targets that we set ourselves. So, so now, on paper, it, it looks slightly easier. It's, it's not easy in the Premier League, as we know, but it could be a period where we can really, as you say, consolidate uh, where we are at the moment and really kick on. 
we're, we're excited by what's ahead of us. We, we're not going to obviously get to a point uh, around the 40 point mark and then just ease off and think that's it for the season. That's not what we're about. It's, um, it wasn't what we did last year. And we have no intention of doing it this year. You got Frank? All good? Cheers, man. Okay.